Hello everybody, today I'd like to make a tutorial about advanced pump modding for D5 pump with Beats Power products. And the reason I have to make this video is because quite a few of my customers confuse which parts to choose and also quite a few even seasoned builders making mistakes and buying compatible parts. So let's talk about a few things. First of all, we talk about D5 dressing kit, which is basically a metal sleeve with, which is anodized in a variety of colors. This one, red one and a bunch of others. And that allows to take a traditional just factory D5 pump, which is basically is a black plastic cylinder. It doesn't really look as cool for some people, including myself. And uh, it just will put it over and the uh, pump now looks pretty cool in a variety of colors, whatever you want for your, for your liking. But the thing is, some people don't understand uh, that this sleeve or this uh, modding kit, the racing kit, doesn't really work with anything in the market that you can imagine. So basically, how it's attached to the pump top, it's utilized the same mounting mechanism that's used in traditional, in traditional pump top from the factory, which is huge threading like cylinder here that you take and just screw it over. And together, you make this assembly that looks cool. But of course, most of people don't use factory top because it's also ugly and uh, try to use fact, uh, new aftermarket tops such as uh, Beats Power. So there's a single acrylic top right here. So what we'll do, we tie them together, screw together and it starts looking really cool, right? So what people constantly make a mistake and just so tired to correct it, the people trying to attach it to other manufacturer products, especially to EK. But the key, they actually changing quite a bit how the pump is mounted. Instead of just being um, attached or compressed to the EK reservoir or let's say EK D5 top with uh, this big O-ring or round ring using the same thread as used in traditional D5, they just put totally different brackets that attach a bunch of screws. So mechanism is totally different. So when you try to put this top, on EK product, obviously there are no way in the hell you can attach it because no threads, nothing to screw on, right? And the same thing with aqua computer and whatever other manufacturer you want to do. So, so remember one simple thing: if you would like to mod D5 pump with Beats Power dressing kit and other stuff, you have to stick to Beats Power. That's as simple as that. So don't try to use it on other manufacturer product. Second part that people also confuse that they, they saw on internet here and there different builds that sometimes um, Beats Power pump and the reservoir kind of connected together. So a lot of people trying to ask me what kind of fitting I need to put between two items. Uh, or how the hell they connected, so totally confusing. And this actually is answer pretty simple. In fact, when we have a pump and a reservoir combo, that looks like this, and we can have obviously this dressing on the bottom, which is makes absolutely gorgeous looks. Um, th this part, the reservoir part, is not actually the uh, Beats Power Reservoir in normal common sense, which is, has those tops on each end. There's a special version which is called Upgrade Kit, and that has on the bottom special part, which as you see, this like kind of flat surface with the uh, screws, and the exactly the same uh, places for screws drilled in every single top from Beats Power. It can be single or double, it doesn't matter. And what is happening, so you just put them together, put O-rings and then screw them. And that became like one simple assembly. So don't try to buy reservoir separate, pump separate, and then try to kind of merge them together. You can with a tube or even if connects them through the fitting, but doesn't look as good and you will never achieve the same result. Basically, you need a top and you need upgrade kit. And that upgrade kit can be assembled together and then you have one unified and type of assembly which look fantastic. And of course they can come with variety of, of um, uh, options such as this is acrylic, that would be my preferable choice because I like to put LEDs inside and stuff like this. Or it can be black acetal or even white acetal. So there's variety of options at this point. So that's hopefully will help you to understand how to deal with those mods and you can just create absolutely fantastically looking advanced mod D5 pumps that everybody will be envy. 
Thank you for watching and I'll come back with more tutorials. See you soon guys.